Two days after his death, President Trump finally got around to commenting on the late Sen. John McCain Monday afternoon, as the White House again lowered flags on the grounds to half-staff Despite our differences on policy and politics, I respect Senator John McCain's service to our country and, in his honor, have signed a proclamation to fly the flag of the United States at half-staff until the day of his interment, said Trump, who was not invited to the Arizona senator's funeral I have asked Vice President Mike Pence to offer an address at the ceremony honoring Senator McCain at the United States Capitol this Friday, he continued At the request of the McCain family, I have also authorized military transportation of Senator McCain's remains from Arizona to Washington, D.C., military pallbearers and band support, and a horse and case in transport during the service at the United States Naval Academy Chief of Staff John Kelly, Defense Secretary James Mattis and National Security Advisor John Bolton will represent the White House at the service The flags had been raised to full staff earlier Monday after being lowered for only a few days to mark the death of McCain But politicians from both sides of the aisle as well as national leaders of veterans groups slammed Trump in protest, calling the commander-in-chief vindictive and petty The White House typically honors deceased lawmakers by keeping the building's flags at half-staff until their funerals, according to The Hill But that requires a presidential proclamation, and Trump didn't issue one See also White House returns flag to half-staff after backlash facing a national outpouring of scorn, the White House relented The move comes shortly after the American Legion and other veterans' organizations had blasted Trump Mr. President, just this year, you released presidential proclamations noting the deaths of Barbara Bush and Billy Graham, Denise Rogan, the national commander of the American Legion, said in a public letter to the president Monday Senator McCain was an American hero and cherished member of the American Legion. As I'm certain you are aware, he served five and a half years as a prisoner of war in North Vietnam and retired from the U.S. Navy at the rank of captain. He then served in the U.S. Congress for more than three decades. On behalf of the American Legion's two million wartime veterans, I strongly urge you to make an appropriate presidential proclamation noting Senator McCain's death and legacy of service to our nation and that our nation's flag be half-staffed through his internment," she wrote McCain, who died Saturday at age 81, will be buried Sunday at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, after his body lies in state in the Arizona Capitol in Phoenix and the Capitol Rotunda in D.C. Related VIDEO 308 John McCain, Life and Death of a Maverick